Alright guys, welcome back to Zephyr Fishing. My name is Billy for those who are new here and for those old people, old subscribers, please give me a like, comment, everything will help. Today we're fishing uh, Bill Burton Pier and I'm just actually coming back from Ocean Stadium and it's on the way so I decided to stop by. Extremely windy, sorry for that. Hopefully we catch something today. I fished here before but haven't got any luck so we'll try again today. Let's walk and talk. It might be a little windy here but yeah, this is the Chop Tank River. I'm fishing on the north end of it. I know there's a south end too and there's like a little mini pier that extends on the south end as well. Uh, I got all my bait from Ocean City still. We're gonna try out and see what we can get, honestly. Uh, it was kind of a bust at Ocean City, but maybe this place is any, it will be better. <coughs> yeah, this is a super long bridge, you see. You park on that side over here. I'll show you at the, actually at the end of the video, I'll show you again how to, where to park. Parking is free. Sun, sunrise to sunset, like you saw in my intro. All right, just got a little further down here. There's nice benches so you can sit under or sit on. Uh, this one you can sit under if it rains. It says do not cut bait on tables or benches. That's a this nice little table or roof too. You can hide under when it's super sunny out more porta potties along the way. Hopefully you guys have a car like I do because this is gonna be a long walk if you wanna go at the end. I think I might post up at this porta potty right here. I think it's the halfway point. I can almost see the end. See how far I've gone right here so far. If there's no fish, I might tug along, move all the way down. We'll see, it's a big bridge. All right, just got some crab on. Just gonna do some threads. Got some thread I'm gonna tie on so it stays on. Hopefully we get a catfish, rockfish. All right, just yank it off there. Last time I came here, literally stayed for two, three hours with two people, multiple rods, not an, a single bite. You can watch other YouTube videos here too. Not many people catch anything here, really. All right. Let's just throw it out. Let's try and get too close to the pilings, but also I don't want to hit cars. Set the bait feeder. Now we wait. Throw this one out too. Carolina rig, three ounces. Oh, that's, that'll be all right. Now I'm trying to fish for panfish now on the other rod. It looks like something took my bait. My peeler crabs. Left me with nothing. I'm gonna check my other rod too and rebait here. Maybe Bill Burton is not a buzz. Just saw something bite this. Hopefully we're still on. Yeah, spot. <laughs> Dinker spot. Wow, first fish here and got off too. Oh man, that is definitely not worth it. For people who are traveling far and wide to fish, this is not worth it. It's always when you turn your back around, they're biting. Oh, just got a nibble. Oh, there we go. There we go. I don't think he's on though. It's just nibbling. This is the problem with the two ounces. Hard to tell if I have a fish or not. Yeah, off. Stole my bait too. Just, just had a nibble on a dock demon. I'm not sure if it's still on. Oh yeah, it's still on. Nice spot. I lied, small spot. Oh, it's bigger than the other one, the first one we caught. 
Any luck down there? A little bit. What you catch? Early in the morning, though. Spot? Uh, spot, yeah. Yeah, I just got two. That's about it. Yeah. Small fish today. How do, how do, you, how do you normally do here? Um, well, I'm not here a lot, but yeah. I was using uh, shrimp down there. Okay. Yeah, that's my second time here. It's always like, it seems like there's like no fish at all. It's a uh, huge place, but nothing. Yeah, it depends, I think. You know, the last time I was here, I caught one striper that was fairly large. Yeah. But it just depends, I think. Yeah, I threw out some crab, but nothing yet. Yeah. Well, yeah. I hear. I heard. Well, I was here yesterday. Somebody caught a croaker. Okay. On that side. Was a keeper? So this, this fish. Yeah, it was a keeper. Okay. Yeah. Probably depends on the day, I guess. Yeah. And plus, today's uh, relatively choppy. Yeah, it's windy. Yeah, I just actually came from Ocean City. It was a hitter. It was like, uh, it was good in the morning and then died off. Yeah, no, it was. That's, that's when I caught all mine. I caught all five early. Yeah, a lot of sea bass. Some I got blue bites, but like okay. they bit off my paddle tail. Bites here too. That. So, but yeah, big hits. Yeah. Yeah, I probably I tried bottom fishing just to see just in case the fish was sitting on the bottom. Yeah. It seemed to work in the morning. I'm not sure about now. Yeah. I, dry, I stopped because I dried up after, for about two hours earlier. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, good luck. All right. Thank you. You have a good one, man. You have something here. Yeah, we're, he's on. Ooh, feels big. Oh, what is this? A huge spot. Oh, my gosh. That is huge. That's my biggest spot of the year, probably. Hey, maybe, maybe Bill Burton's not a bust then. Wow, this is bigger than ones that I caught in Solomon's Island and um, Ocean City here. No wonder he was pulling. Get my pliers here. Put my rod down. Bait came off too. I'm keeping this guy either as bait or as food. All right, let's try that again. It's pretty deep on this side. I'll say it's like 10 to 15 feet. Oh, wow, just had a nibble. Oh, whoa, that was quick. Guess, oh, it got off. Guess I found the honey hole. Yeah, he got that bottom hook here. It's all tear it up. Let's try that again. Oh, just had a hit. Did you guys saw that? Probably took my, my bait. The, oh, oh, there we go. Got him. Got him this time. Spot. Nice. All right, I'm trying to load up on spot, so. I can use that as cut bit later on when it gets colder in the season, when fall comes or winter. Let's see, let's see. Just put on new bait. Still nothing on the big rods. down too. Oh my god, it's always when you're doing something else. Yeah, we're on guys. Ooh, it's a perch. Nice perch. Finally guys, Bill Burton put it out. Oh, he swallowed that too. Alright. Let's try getting another perch or a spot. Maybe even a croaker. Ooh, it's windy. Seems like they've been taking only my bottom hook. I'm not sure why. I'm standing, uh, my back's against the wind now. Hopefully that's better. Oh, nibble, 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 nibble. All right, we're on. There we go. There's another perch. Ooh, this one's nice. Very nice. Bigger than the other one. I guess I found the honey hole, guys. Either that or the tides or something has changed because they're actually biting now. This rod, I think we're on here. Yeah, we're on. Feels like a perch. Oh, yep, perch. They love that piling. Smaller perch here. Check him out. Has like a motorized bike or something. <laughs> That's crazy. That's smart. 
go to the end quicker, I guess. I couldn't, uh, didn't have the chance to ask him if he had anything. He just zoomed on by. Yeah, he probably knows the storm is coming, so he's leaving too. I gotta get a few more fish here. All right. Look okay, at someone else is coming here too. Wow, just like that. Literally just threw it down. Perch. Oh no, spot. I was wrapping up over here. Yeah, yeah, we do. Still on? Yes, he is. Oh, perch. Hey, got that one up. I think we just had a bite over here, so. Hopefully, oh, yeah, he's on. Whoa, where's he going? Whoa, double up. Nice spot. On that line, I actually might throw some squid, play around a little bit, leave one rod hanging. Let's get this one down and then I'll put some squid on the my surf rod. Honestly, I might not even throw it out. I might just ride the piling. I know big fish like to come ambush smaller fish too. All right, keep an eye on that too. Get some squid here. They are very active right now. All I need is one rod. Oh. Oh, this, my thread is still on here. Just gotta rip it off, put it here. Some squid on. Put some more squid on. So give it a buffet. All you can eat right here. Let's let's get it. Pick up my line. There's trash cans. Yes, yeah, trash can over there. Clean up after yourself, guys. We're on something here. Got some, some, got some here. Perch, just let that rod down. I'm keeping this guy. Chip drop, none. All right. Oh, have it by here. Oh. It's always when you turn your back, guys, like I said. Ooh, double ups, white perch. They're chewing right now. I don't know what it is. I'm not complaining though. Check that out. Nothing on the big rod so far. I'm sure they're nibbling on the squid though. We're hooked here. Oh, nice double up again. White perch, let's get it. Oh man, this is making my whole trip now. Very uh, pessimistic at first, but now you know, I might be a fan. Honestly, I don't know if I would drive this far out. Something's hitting this rod right now. Probably pecking at the squid. Uh, back when I was saying, no, yeah, I don't think I would drive out this far to get perch or spot. Cause uh, you know, I can always go to the Bay Bridge, which is way closer and get the same results. But yeah, here to show you guys what it's like. Don't try this at home. Oversized weight, small rod. Nice. Doc D been doing that damage, doing that work. Perch, looks like a lot of perch around. All the spot ran away and now it's just perch. Look at that perch compa compared to my reel, or my rod setup. We're on again here. Let's see what it is, probably perch, yes, perch. Yeah, I'm gonna call it quits here. I wanna go home before the rain comes, traffic on the Bray Bridge and all that stuff. Show you all the results here. Bam! Decent amount. But yeah, you just park on the side here once you come in. That's about it.
I guess you can eat under the trees here too. I know a lot of people crab here as well. I don't know how well they do though, but that's a wrap here. All right, let's look at today's fishing condition. Looks like we fished a stable water pressure trend. Uh, the wind was 14 miles per hour, which is, you know, you could hear my, my audio. I had to fix it and edit it. It was blowing really hard. You can see it right here. It was an east wind all day, increasing as the day went on. And then let's scroll on down here, looking at the tides. We came here around 1 p.m., which was a low tide. Fished through a, about 4 p.m., 3.30 p.m. That's when there was high fish activity. And that's when you saw like me catching white perch left and right. And as for the solar activity right here, it was the day after a full moon, three fish signs, which, is, which means very high fish activity, 101 coefficient. As for the major and minor periods, I did fish a major period right here from 1 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. So there's that. All right, guys, if you want to fish at Bill Burton Fishing Pier, go ahead and put in old chop tank river bridge into your gps this is where i was fishing this is the north end and you can just park right along the street right here along the road and then walk on down and also there's also a south end if there's a north end of course so here's the south end of it i'll scroll in here show you guys south ends right here see this parking right here and then there's also the mini pier right here, like I talked about, that attaches to the bigger pier or big bigger bridge um, that you can fish off as well. And yeah, that's basically it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to the next video. Remember to smash that like button, give us a comment, and subscribe. Everything I use is under the description below, so check that out as well. Mm -hmm.